first gift in the book. Uh, and this is page 20, and this is page 20. So I'm going to open this, and let's see what this is. Put this in here, so it's like a bookmark. And let's see. I am guessing it is portraits that someone actually drew, like sketches. Because in the story, the main character's uh, mother was uh, an artist and loved to sketch. And, okay, here's a little... Ooh, this is like a little nice... I like this material. It's, so, it's nice. Like felt, literally like. Okay, let's see. by the um, the main character's mother when she was young. I was perfectly correct. Yay! My guess is correct. And um, let me see if there's anything else in here. Nope! There's nothing else, but I really like this pouch. It would be perfect for me to store some of my uh, tickets or uh, it could be also be a little pouch for going out. Nice! I like it! Yes! First gift open, and I can't wait to read, continue reading the book and find out what my other gifts are. That's it! I finally got to the second gift in the unboxing, and this is on page 254. So I'm gonna open it one handed. Okay, it was a little ripped already. And let's see what this is. Ah, I don't want to rip the bag that much. Folding it as I was reading to this page 254, she was just talking about putting her hands in an apron pocket. So I'm assuming this is an apron, and it looks like it maybe. I was right, it is an apron. This is the apron. I'll try this on when I get home so you can see what it actually looks like. On, and it looks like there's something here. Ooh, this is page 326. Uh, I didn't know that. I thought it was hidden in, a, hidden in another gift, but not this one. So, uh, I'm going to continue reading, and I can't wait to open the next gift. Till next time. Hi, I have continued reading the book, and I have gotten to page 326, where it says another open your gift. I actually have the other one, page 332, also here because I actually read past that page when I was on the subway earlier. So um, I'm opening it now. Um, to make it easier with one-handed, I actually um, uh, slid it open, but I didn't look at it yet. So this is what page 326 is. And I'm actually guessing this is a photo um, of... of um, well, I just think it's a photo. I'm not sure of whom, but we will see. And since it's just one sheet, I'm assuming it is, I'm correct, it is a photo. So yes, this is a photo. All oh, right, I remember the scene right now. Um, this is a photo of what uh, one of the characters and believe his um, cousin, this is spoiler actually, his cousin, his father is actually not who they think it is. So, um, I think this is a photo that was mentioned. And, oh, and the uh, next part that I would like to open the gift for is right here on this page, page 332. And, um, well, this was the part where the, uh, the sticker just mentioned that, um, 
of a stained, a blood stained envelope with uh, a necklace inside. So that's what I'm guessing is in this envelope. There will be a, there should be a letter. And I was right, with a necklace inside. And this necklace has uh, should have an engraving of for, forgive me. Forgive my love, not forgive me, forgive my love. So I am gonna read this letter. And um, like I, I think I mentioned it in the very first um, YouTube video that this letter sh was written by the author herself. And dearest Kitty, your silence pounds in my heart, my head, like the guns along the moment. I think this is a place name. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I mark off the weeks until my next leave when I can flee this hell to be with you. All I want to do is hold you close so that you might look into my eyes and read the truth of my love. Until then, I must rely on pen and paper to make you understand even if you can never forgive. Before I met you, I made fun of those who spoke of true love. Then that day at the cliff, I turned and it was like watching the sunrise for the very first time. I could finally see my future clear before me and it was glorious and golden and full, full of hope. Now there is naught but a gnawing emptiness, as if a limp has been lost and organ removed. I exist as a ghost frozen and unfeeling. I don't ask for your sympathy, my darling. There's no excuses I could offer that will be equal to the suffering I've caused. So as daylight fades and my sergeant calls for volunteers, I shall paraphrase that famous board by saying there is no greater punishment than life after you lost everything that made it worth living as I have lost you. Beat for beat and breath for breath, Simon. So this is like I was what I suspected. It was a letter from Simon to Anna, uh, to not Anna, to Anna's uh, mother, Lady Catherine. And inside, there should be a photo. I was right. So this should be the image of Simon, and that should be the image of Lady Catherine. So it's actually, it was really enjoyable reading this book, and I'm almost done. I probably have like 30 so pages left, and I can't wait to finish it and open the last gift. So that's it for this video. Have a good night. I am actually up to the last page. I actually finished this book a couple of hours ago, and I finally had the chance to open the last gift. And this is on page 383. And um, at this point, I already knew, like a few pages before, I kind of have a guess as to what this will be. And this gift is in relation to um, Anne's father. Anne's father had, drawn, had painted um, a painting of Lady Catherine, Miss Kitty, uh, at the very beginning when he falls in love with her, he drew a picture, painted a picture of her um, called the uh, Lady, no, Red-Headed Wanton. Yes, the Red-Headed Wanton. And this is actually going to be, I'm guessing, it is the replica of that painting. So I'm going to open this, and this is really beautiful, beautifully wrapped. I'm, I'm almost hesitant to open it. So I'm gonna pull off the last ribbon here. Um, I think that other part of the ribbon fell off like earlier. And I open this part. Let's see. Let's see. Am I correct? Okay, this feels like canvas paper. So. Right. So this is basically a canvas paper of the painting, the red-headed wanton. So 
but I feel like it's not that red adhered in the replica version. I don't know. But at that time period, for someone to have a painting like this is very scandalous. And that was what really got um, Lady Catherine in trouble at the beginning. So I liked it that they used this disc to conclude as the last gift for this book. And my next book is coming in tomorrow, so I'm super excited that I just finished this one and I will have a new book to read very soon. So till my next book unboxing of the January book. Till then, good night.